Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito. I am your host, Darian. I'm your host, Landon. And today we have a plethora of stuff for you. We got Marvel, we got DC, and we got games. You name it, we got it. Let's talk, Landon. How have you been? Uh, could be better. Uh, Rebirth came out just recently, and I haven't been able to play it yet. <laughs> I have played seven hours of it. <laughs> you tell me, you're like, hey, I'm just going to play a couple hours, and tell me, it's like, yeah, I went through I literally seven. got on there at like, at, when I had texted you and played like an hour and then I had to go eat and I got back on later and played more. I was like, I'm only playing a couple hours right now. And I sat down. And next thing I know, I looked at the time. It was five in the morning. I was like, Whew. oops. Yeah, I, I remember those days. I remember when the first one came out. I did that. Oh, it was great. It was great. And I won't talk hey, about it. You know, <laughs> yeah, it was, you know. I yeah, don't want to like, talk I, about I, the I game because you haven't seen it. Yeah, I... I, I only thing I know is that I, the opening is definitely not what I thought it was. I don't even know no, what. The no, it's not. No, it's because I thought it was gonna be the flashback, but it's not apparently. So I would yeah, I consider you. the flashback part of the. Well, depends what you consider the opening. I consider the opening should have been the flashback, but if it's something, yeah, I hear it's peak. You talking about opening it's... like up to like the title sequence? I don't know. No, no, no. I don't even want to hear. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know where the title sequence is going to be. I don't even want to. Okay. No, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. Like I want to play it, but it's just not. I wasn't able to until I beat it. But I should be beating it. I should be able to beat remake tomorrow. I should. You know, on paper, I should. Yeah. Good. Um. How about you? How have you been doing? Uh, fine. I played seven hours of free for that. No, um, no, I've been streaming Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Um, that's been that's been pretty fun. Uh, I've also last time I talked to him, I was watching, I was just starting season two of Batman the Animated Series. Uh, yeah, I finished season two of Batman the Animated Series, and I, I'm watching it in chronological order the entire like DC animated universe from the 90s. Yeah, so right now I am. Starting Superman the animated series season one, and then after nice. that I go I go into back to Batman. Yeah, and then the Batman Sub Zero movie. Yeah, those um. So a- any big episodes that stand out to you within the Batman? Um, I mean, there's a few. Um, like there was only there's only like a like actually a few that stood out as like wow I distinctly really liked that episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and most of them had to do when like all the villains were together in one episode. There was one where um, they were like the villains were holding a trial for Batman. And oh yeah, yeah, and I really remember good. that one. Yes, I remember that one. The almost got him episode that was good. Um, I'm blanking on the others right now, but I know there are others. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, know, I know the the almost god. That's like a big one that a lot of people love. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think that's that's really about it, though. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um. But we got a lot of news this week. You got to talk about, so let's go ahead and get on into it. Um. Almost all the stuff this week is from Daniel RPK. It feels like because he came yeah. out and gave a bunch of information, and so. We're going to talk about it, starting with this. According to Daniel RPK, a Silver Surfer project is reportedly in development at Marvel Studios. Marvel is currently searching for an actor, and they will make their debut in the Fantastic Four. Um, Me. (laughs) We know, well, we knew at one point that they were going to make Silver Surfer a special presentation, but now that they've gotten rid of that notion, um, it could be a show or a movie. Silver Surfer movie would be kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm cool with that. But yeah, the search for an actor, and they will show up in the Fantastic Four. Being like in credit scene, or they will they will no, they'll be they'll, they'll 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 be in it. Like they'll be one of oh, like pro- very well. prominent. Well, I mean, Galactus right. is going to be in it. I think the idea of this movie, Fantastic Four, is going to be really good because, like, at least the plot of it, because mm. you go to a t- it's the Fantastic Four taking on an Avengers level threat in a time when there were no Avengers. Like yeah. back in the sixties. They're yeah. the reason Galactus didn't eat Earth in the sixties, because they were back there and they stopped it. Yeah. But no one it's knows. Great. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it so, sounds perfect. 
Yeah, and so we'll get to see all that play out. I think they start filming sometime soon. Um, yeah. Okay. According to Daniel RPK, a Spider-Man villains animated movie is in development at Sony. Why? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Is it like Spider Verse type of animation? Mm, I it... don't. We I we don't know. Okay. Um. um yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> part part know. two to this information, which is further down. Hold on, and I will find it. A female-led Spider-Man animated film is also in the works. Um, okay. Different from the different from the previously announced Spider Woman project, which I did forget they did announce that it's an animated mm. Spider Woman movie. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know either. They'll do anything besides like something make make like a Spider Man four. <laughs> so that would make him like a billion dollars. Yeah. Jeez. Um but yeah, I thought I'd throw that in there. Um according to Daniel RPK, a female led white tiger show is in the works at Marvel Studios. While da Daredevil Born Again will be introducing the male version of the character. This is interesting. I know I didn't know there was a male version of the character anyway. I always thought White Tiger was a woman. Yeah, just the female. Until, yeah. yeah. Until I, like they I saw set photos of Daredevil and looked into and looked into yeah. it. Um, yeah. So I mean she's getting her own show. So I'm wondering if it's like the guy's daughter or like what? Or why uh, is there I, does he I, die I, in Daredevil Born Again, then White Tiger comes in later. I wanna say I saw a set video that showed someone shooting white tiger in the head or something i want to say i saw that too because <laughs> now you mentioned I, I remember i saw like a set of somebody like running up shoot yeah and they like shoot some and they walk and it looked like the punisher but then i read people saying that it was someone impersonating the punisher so i don't know yeah which is kind of oh. interesting but it um so i guess we'll find out but yeah yep. um also according to daniel rpk Marvel is officially pulling back on TV shows. They they are not going to be putting out as many. Um, they will focus more on animated stuff and the movies. And whatever shows we do get, we'll get them. Um, the shows that we do get, they will be more grounded and probably be Marvel Spotlight. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Spotlight stuff was great. Yeah, even though I've only had one. Yeah, we've had two. I thought we had one. Well, what what was it? Echo. Oh, where it's like the one season, and that's it. Well, deal. spotlight. The spotlight is like the. Um, oh, I'm think I'm thinking about the special presentation. That's what yeah. I'm thinking of. I was I was like I thought we just mentioned they just cut that off. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. I wish they had more. Anyway, um, I, I do too. But yeah, they're all pulling back on TV shows. I don't think I think that's a good thing. I think they still do need TV shows. I think the TV, whole TV aspect was a good decision on their part. They just went to crazy with it to ham on it where it was like a new show every month it's like as soon as you finished one you went on to another one yeah and it was yeah. just like it's like i'm gonna get some breather yeah now this year it's like i'm ready for more marvel hold on no no yeah i know oh well, I got, I, 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 I in 17 more days gonna satisfy me all the way yeah you know yeah. 17 more days we get something marvel but it's not really canon yeah i get you. oh that's the um x-men yeah, X Men. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see here. Here's this. Marvel Studios is reportedly going back and forth uh, with the previously announced Nova show after the first version of it has been scrapped. Oh. So. Okay. I guess this is another decision on like, do we really need this, and like, will this, like, is this necessary for the overall story? <laughs> the story, yeah. Um, why not? I mean, if they're worried about like losing money, why not make the big decisions? to like, hey, let's is, is this is, is this necessary? You know, I think a lot of people, I think sometimes Marvel's like forgotten. Like, I don't. Know. As far as I know, I don't really see the importance of Echo right now. Like, I guess we might see some. It may. I know it kind of leads into Daredevil a bit. It will, but I don't know. Uh, unless yeah. we will see her again. I mean, it's Stop. like a literal. It's like a direct setup for, and she'll show back up in Daredevil and Spider. Yeah, maybe more, Spider. -Man. More, more than more than likely, more than likely, I can see it. Yeah. Um. Sorry. Oh yeah. 
Uh, Marvel Studios is reportedly working on a new superhero franchise for 2026. They will introduce a character that we haven't seen in the MCU yet. Oh, um, this could be like an actual new character, or this could be Blade. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, but well, I mean, are they? Well, I feel like they would have said straight up like Blade. That's, well, this that's was Daniel RPK that. that said this, but he didn't specify. So I feel like he probably would have said Blade, but maybe. Yeah. Not. But a new franchise. Um, I can't think of any a Ghost Rider. I'd like Ghost Rider. Hey, I'm cool, I'm cool with seeing some Ghost Rider. We haven't seen it. Unless you want to count Agents of Shield, which uh, is that really canon? <laughs> it's like soft canon. The most the most soft canon. It's as can... it's as canon as like the prequel comics to Suicide Squad. What kill the Justice League? Yeah, it's like as canon as those. So where it's like it, sure it takes place then, but there's something that happens in it that doesn't that doesn't work with the Arkham games. That's because it's the soft cannon, not all. Of it. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. Um, but yeah. So um, let me see here. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I would hope it maybe something like Ghost Rider or something. Um, that's what I think too. I mean, I, that's who I want. Yeah. Okay, uh, Spider-Man 4 information. Not the Sam Raimi one, but no, oh. the MCU one. <laughs> so the fake Am one. Amy Pascal and Kevin Feige are planning on introducing Miles Morales in Spider-Man 4. The um, live-action Miles movie will be taking place in the MCU off of that. Um, we could, I, I kind of guessed this a while back. Um, yeah. You'll have Miles in like a uh, the new Ned position mm. as the, the friend. Um, a little bit more of news on Spider-Man 4, though. Um, Sony and Marvel Studios are currently, obviously, they've had um, they've had a lot of back and forth right now about Sony wants a multiverse movie, Marvel wants a street level movie. Yeah. Um, everyone else wants a street level movie, but Sony wants yeah. a multiverse movie. Yeah, they only got like whatever happened to like. I, mean, I guess it's gonna be some of their money, so I guess it makes sense they should argue of what they should what they should want, but. You also should just be voted out of, okay, <laughs> so everybody wants this, you don't have this, so we're not doing that. Yeah. Um, but, apparently, because these talks are so back and forth, Sony and Marvel Studios are currently negotiating to blend street-level and multiverse elements into Spider-Man 4's plot. That sounds like a mess. Yeah. Then Tom Holland, Tom Holland wanted a straight up just street level thing too. Yeah, him and Kevin Feige were the ones that, and I guess all Marvel Studios were the ones that were fighting for it. But Sony and Tom Rothman says no. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't understand. Uh, it aggravates me because they're. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> like I love. You know, I, I love multiversal stuff, but then there's there's gonna be a point where we're all just tired of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this gonna be a multiversal story? I've seen everything I need to right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not to mention, and a lot of people are a lot of people are upset about that with DC. I noticed for some reason, people are like, James Gunn's talking about all this Elseworld stuff. Why do we need this Elseworld stuff? Multiverse stuff is so annoying. I'm like, first off, it's not Elseworld. That's so completely like... different. Second, I mean, DC did invent. The multiverse concept for superhero stuff, but it is. yeah, but what's James Gunn doing? That's even else. It's just a brand new universe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, well, that's also like I mean, he's doing like the Elseworlds <laughs> projects, like the Batman and all this stuff, and they're like, it's gonna be too oh, confusing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's not even that confusing. It's not like you're an idiot if you think it's confused. It, yeah, it's not. It, it really isn't. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I uh, was gonna have to wait and see. I hope they get. I hope Marvel Studios gets their side of the bargain. Well, only th I only thing I'd want is maybe a because <sighs> you can't blend multiverse and street level. That doesn't it's two completely it opposite things. It, it really doesn't. But I, all I was gonna say is, if at most, let me get like a uh, a, a in credit scene. You know? Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Uh, Kevin Feige. Wants the current Fantastic Four team to survive Secret Wars, which I mean, obviously. Oh, what um, did you? 
<laughs> yeah. And go on to become vocal characters alongside the mutants all throughout Phase 7. Yes, why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, so I thought I, I just wanted to throw that in there. Um, a little bit of a plan. I, I guess we could have guessed this, but um, yeah. I'm, um, yeah, sounds good. Uh, plus, they survive. That lets us know we're going to see some guys dying in this movie. Yeah, probably. Doctor Strange, most definitely. It's like my guess that he's going to die. Oh, it's like your big one? Yeah. I'm going to say... Maybe, uh, and maybe Hawkeye and Thor. You said... What was the last one you said? Hawkeye and Thor. I think they're going to kill off all of the... Get rid of all of the original Avengers that are left. I... <laughs> What about Hulk? What about Bruce? No, I don't think Hulk's going to die. I think he's going to... I don't know what he's going to do, but... I feel like he might be cured of the Hulk, maybe, or something. I don't know. Alright. That'd be interesting. Anyway, right. um, Spider-Man the Animated Series head writer John Semper Jr. says he's open to continuing the show, just like X-Men 97 does for the X-Men Animated Series. He said um, if they called him, he would do it. Yeah. I hope so. I've <laughs> I, never I, watched I, it. It's um it's not it's not bad. It's not it's 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 really good actually. A lot of stuff that's taken for Spider Man stuff today is taken from that show. That show has a lot to thank for a lot of in Spider Man media, such as um the, the symbiote making Peter evil, you know, making him more like a bad guy. Yeah, that's from the show. That's not from the comics at all. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, so that's just one example. I know there's like more. I just can't think of at the moment. But so the show the show has a lot of um, a lot of fans. Plus, I believe it leaves off on a cliffhanger too. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So it, yeah, why not? Why not bring it back? Yeah. Like, I, um, I think I think we gotta wait to see how successful X Men does for them to bring back. More shows because I there's gonna be a big resurgence of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah. Um, we got a little bit. Uh, one more piece of Daredevil news here. Um, you know the villain in the show, at least for some of it, is um, this character called Muse. Um, like act, like a like terrifying looking guy. I don't know how he'll be like shown off in the show, but um. He, we got an actor who's playing him, Hunter Doohan. I think it's how you say his name, or Doohan. I don't know. Um, he he looks familiar. Hang on. What's he been in? <laughs> What's his name? Uh, he was in. Is it Brian? Cr yeah, he's in Brian. It's Brian Cranston show called Your Honor. Um, he's in Wednesday, which is, I guess is what he's most known for. I think he played a. A, a sort of main character in that? I don't know. Oh, I've never seems seen like it. The, that seems like the two biggest things that he's been in. Seems like he's a relatively recent actor. Yeah, I I know. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, but yeah, I've never heard of the show called Your Honor. I've never heard of it. So. It came out in 2020 and says ended, I guess, ended in 2023. Brian Cranston is the main character. Hmm. We'll have to look into that because huh? Brian Cranston is pretty much great in everything. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. We'll have to uh we'll have to see. He I'm I'm excited though. Excited to see him. Yeah. yeah. Um Thomas Hayden Church says he thinks that Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire are going to make Spider Man four. Um I'm of two minds of this of what he says, but only because I'm pretty sure he's come out before and said something he has. that ended up not being true. Well, but what about that one tweet, though? What one tweet? What, what was he? Was that guy an insider or something? Oh, oh, something? yeah. Yeah, uh, he said that um, it's a little bit different for... Well, that's part of this next piece of news. I guess I'll talk about this. Um, this kind of ties together. According to Alex from the Cosmic Circus, Andrew Garfield will reportedly continue the story of Peter Parker slash Spider-Man, but the chances of him getting a solo film is, quote, very minimal. But apparently with Toby, it's a different story. Yeah, so what does that mean? <laughs> are we getting... Uh... It's like Marvel Studios getting... make Toby Maguire's Spider-Man movie and not Sony. <laughs> Please. They're going to put Madam Web in it. 
I don't care. I don't. Did you see the Sydney so. Sweeney SNL monologue where she made fun of Madam Web? Yeah, and she's all. Like, she was she's like, yeah, she was like, you this, guys. Man. You didn't see me in Madam Web. Oh, I was like, dang. <laughs> dang. Sony fell to their knees when she said. That. They're like, oh. Um, I thought I thought we made a great movie. <laughs> Yeah, I saw people. Um, I saw a tweet. Let me read this because I feel like you need to hear this. Yes. Um, this person tweeted, "You need to quit claiming Madam Web failed because of male fans. It failed because Isabella Merced, who plays one of the girls in it, she also plays Hawk Girl in Superman. Um, it failed because her because the script was changed before released. It failed because all the actresses in it sucked. It failed because it's random and James Gunn sucks at movies." What's James Gunn got to do with anything? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh my god! Yeah, <sighs> I read that earlier. I was like, Jesus. I like how somehow a Snyder fan can make anything revolve around James Gunn. Yeah, they think about him all the time. They're mad yeah, they, because the mad guy, mad. the head of oh. Netflix, new head of Netflix, hates Snyder fans. It's so strange. It, the obsession is like. They're, they're like 100% convinced that Superman's not going to make it through production. It's going to get canceled. Are, are you kidding me? I ain't yeah, they're like putting bets on it. I'm like, okay. They don't seem to realize that DC Studios is a completely different company than Warner Brothers. Yeah. I mean, completely. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um. But yeah, some Spider-Man 4 stuff. I guess we'll keep an eye out on that. We'll see. If we get some more Spider-Man. Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire reunited. Full um, control. Give Sam yeah. full control. Yeah. Um, Deadpool and Wolverine are going through reshoots in May ahead of its July release date. Um, no other information about that. I do have some information that came in kind of just now. Um, according to my time to shine, hello, Hugh Jackman told Marvel he will return for Secret Wars, but only if he'll get to interact with Toby and RDJ. Oh, so good. Well, there's confirmation there in the movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't care. That confirms it, because why not have you come in for Seer Ors? If I, you're going to see Hugh Jackman and Toby McGuire on the screen together and uh, pass out. I don't know. I mean, having Hugh Jackman, Toby McGuire, and Robert Downey Jr., all, those three together... You want to talk about the real Oppenheimer star. too? Yeah, <laughs> I mean the real star of um. Oh god, I that's mean like it, three like... gener. That's like well, I almost said three generations, but it's actually like two generations of Marvel. Well, yeah, it's Four just two. Fathers, I mean, and then you got you got Hugh in there with the X Men series, the first like real start to these movies being like pretty good. Then you got Toby, which like full on cemented it of oh yeah, this is awesome. Then you got Robert Downey Jr. up there with the Iron Man, the whole start of the MCU. Yeah, it's perfect, the perfect trio. Yeah, and then they'll put in Tom Holland or something. They'll be like, "Why are you here?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. You um, know what would be? You know what would make it peak though? Angley's Hulk. <laughs> okay, uh, Marvel Studios is <laughs> no. Um, this is info. Okay, I'll read this and then I'll read the screenshot I have. Marvel Studios is currently looking to replace the Serpent Society as villains in Captain America: Brave New World. We kind of heard about this that they were gonna they're changing up the villains in the ending uh, because they were not happy with it. And that's why the movie got delayed a whole year. It's supposed yeah. to come out this year. Um. We'd be seeing a uh, Captain America movie in two months. But um, it'll be out next year instead. And we got some information. We kind of knew one of these things. I talked about it a while back. One of the uh, Seth Rollins, the WWE wrestler, he was playing the leader of the Serpent Society. And his character had like retractable fangs that like stuck out of his mouth and spit acid out of him. And it was, sounded really stupid. Um, so we dumb. talked about it a while back. But well, we have this details on the Serpent Society, and I want you to hear all of these and why this is like you'll realize this is why they can't. Okay. Yeah, please tell and me. This is why they get rid of them. In Captain America Brave New World, the Serpent Society will have consisted of Diamondback, Rattler, Constrictor, Asp, and Cobra. 
Um, Diamondback used diamond spike tattoos on her hands to shoot projectiles from her fingers. <laughs> okay. Rattler generated sonic booms from his legs, creating disruptive vibrations. <laughs> okay. Like, I get it, but, like, no. <laughs> it sounds dumb. <laughs> like, it it's supposed so to be, like, he's a rattlesnake, and he's supposed to be, like, that's, that's supposed to be, like, the rattle, but, like, no. Um, yeah. Constrictor employed charged coils on his arms to constrict and immobilize foes. <laughs> um, Asp's fire fists illuminated combat with a fiery advantage. And then, obviously, the retractable fangs with the spitting ass. Yeah. <laughs> I would have hated that. <laughs> Thank God they didn't do that. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to see what they're doing next and um, what they're changing. But yeah, that's a little bit of information there. And finally, last piece of Marvel news Thunderbolts starts filming the day that you guys are hearing this, Monday. It officially begins filming. They want to see some set photos? Yes, probably. All right. I would think. I would guess so. Or are they doing um, I did learn something really stupid about this movie. Uh oh. Um, the the way they get the name of the team. You know, in the Please comics, don't... it's Thunderbolt Ross, and he's the leader, and yeah, all that. But that's not what it is in this. Um, the way they get the name of the team is because um, when Yelena was younger, she played for a soccer team called the Thunderbolts, and she's the leader, so she chose the name. Is that really it? Apparently, that's lame. That's lame. Um. It's kind of like that's like the same like anticlimacticness of like Nick Fury losing his eye to a cat. I know, I know. If not the same, I'd say that Nick Fury one was worse because it had that crazy setup with like Winter Soldier. Yes. Well, yeah. Last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye. I was like, "Dang, dude!" I, I was someone, like, someone was a cat. Traitor. Someone, someone was a traitor. Cat. Who was that? Who? Who? Who did you trust? Dude. And, 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 Goose. That's who we trusted. <laughs> yeah. Um, Man. Yeah, but that's the end of the Marvel news. Um, throw commercial your way, and then we're going to go into DC news. So be right back. Mr. Freeze and the Penguin are taking over the new Lego Batcave. <laughs> You can take control, arm the weapon tower, launch the net, stop the henchmen, and put Mr. Freeze on ice. It's up to you to reclaim the Batcave. You control the action. With a new Lego Batman collection. Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, DC, I'm holding off the biggest one until last. Okay. Um, according to oh, Daniel RPK, yeah, according to Daniel RPK, Booster Gold has been cast in the DCU. But we don't know who. It's driving me insane. Glenn Powell. I hope so. God. Hammer yes, well, Hal or Chris Pratt. One of the two. One of the yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, or Chris Pratt as uh, I'm... Booster Gold. That would be. Interesting. I, I think Chris. I, I think Chris Pratt. I know I just said Glenn Powell, but. I think Chris Pratt could do the role of Booster Glenn, Gold better. Honestly, I think Glenn Powell could do Booster Gold or um, Hal Jordan. I would be fine with either one, honestly. They're like equal to me. But Chris yeah. Pratt, I could also see for Booster Gold. But I also saw some people say Chris Pratt is the Flash, and I'm like, what? Yeah, no, no, not that. I don't know if Chris I like Pratt that. Chris Pratt is Hal Jordan. How about, hold on. Mm -hmm. No, but then they make him another space guy. I mean, stupid. No. Yeah, no. That, that's um, why I, that, that, I thought it occurred. Because, I mean, Chris. Because Booster Gold's what a literally a hero from the future that just sucks, but he comes. Yeah, he's to the like past. the worst superhero ever, but he comes back to the past to get famous. So everyone will love it. Like that seems like more like a good Chris Pratt role. Yeah, than, you know, like not that Glenn Powell couldn't pull it off. I'm sure he could, but I mean, something about Glenn Powell, I think he can just just definitely pull off a Hal Jordan. You know, yeah. but then it'd be like the same character from Top Gun. Yeah, that's why it was awesome. <laughs> that's why it's awesome. That's true. Um, but yeah, speaking of the Flash, though, Grant Gustin has said that he'd be interested in playing Flash in the DCU if James Gunn asked him. He said he has complete trust in James Gunn. Yeah. Um, yes. And James Gunn we trust. I need this to happen. Oh, yeah. I do, too. Um, 
thought I'd throw that in there. There, James Gunn has been teasing some stuff recently on social media. We talked about last week that um, they'll be revealing some stuff in the coming months about the DCU. And someone, um, I guess, not tweeted, but um, threaded. I hear, I don't know. Hit Adam and said, "At James Gunn, as David Zaslav said, you and Peter will announce more projects within a few months. So will you announce it in San Diego Comic Con or via live video?" And James Gunn said, "Those are our only two options." DC fandom. That's what. That's, I mean. a, that's what everyone is thinking. Yeah, that's the James Gunn. I, I think James Gunn really thought that that was cool. And like, why not do that? I mean, that got like so much hype around DC. It did. That would be yeah, but I don't know. Um, I'd I'd be happy with DC fandom. We'd stream. I, I, I'd say we'd stream that. Definitely. Um, that'd be a fun one. Um, yeah. Okay. Jeffrey Wright says he's spoken to Matt Reeves about exploring Gordon's private life in the Batman Part Two. Uh, hundred percent on that. Let me meet James Gordon Jr. and Barbara Gordon. Yep. Movie. Please, good God, please. He's or he's like what or Batman Year One type situation where like you know his wife's pregnant with yeah. um, Barbara. Oh, please. Yeah, um, I'm interested to see that though. Or see what Gordon's private life is like. Um, yeah, here's a little piece of sad news here. Um, Mark Hamill will be. <laughs> hold on. Well, I put a pause after Mark Hamill. I'll, I I immediately expected you to be like you. But um, <laughs> yeah. Mark ha- Mark Hamill <laughs> will voice. Like, I... Oh my god! If they, if they only made. I've been but this like, is sad. This is sad. Mark Hamill will voice Joker alongside Kevin Conroy one last time in Justice League: Crisis on Infinite Earths Part Three, the longest title of any movie I've ever read. Um, yep. Yeah. So the final time you get to hear Mark Hamill's Joker and Kevin's Batman together. Um, and I'm and... pretty sure it's the um animated series versions of them. So perfect. Yeah, so um, we'll see that. I don't know. There's no release date for the movie, so we'll have to see. But I will I will check that out, even though I haven't seen. I'll only watch that one. I won't watch the other two. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Double Down by Daniel RPK, the report that, D- that DC Leaks had said that a Teen Titans project is in development at DC Studios. So um, we had talked about this. Daniel RPK has um, also said that this is happening. That's two people that said that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Teen Titans. I'd like a Teen Titans movie. I think it'd be fun. I would too. Uh, that would be good. Um, yeah. All right. Now, and the, the two pieces of news that, I mean, they're interconnected. But uh, first off, start the smallest one and lead into the final piece, which is the big piece of news. Uh, Wendell Pierce has been cast as Perry White in Superman. Yeah, um, I'm not too familiar with the guy. I'm, um, I wasn't either. I went and looked up some videos on YouTube of him. He's in a show called Suits. Um, and so I went and I think it's like something about a law firm or something. So I went and yeah. like watched a few scenes of him, and I'm like, okay, I see. I, I get it. See the vision. He's like a jerk. Oh, okay. And he's all great, so it works. Um, yeah, but um, there's some clips online of suits. Uh, just look up uh, Wendell Pierce suits, and some scenes will pop up. You can watch his acting. Um, but you may have noticed that I just said Superman and not Superman Legacy, and that's because um, James Gunn officially announced that filming has started for Superman, and that the title is Superman, not Superman Legacy. They t- changed the title, and they revealed. <laughs> First look at the new Superman insignia. Um, yep. So, yeah. Looks nice. Uh, it does look, look nice. Yeah, let me look. Well, according to Snyder fans, it looks like a football. But um, let me <laughs> find All this right. tweet. Um, now, I want, I want to hear point, your thoughts oh, of the oh. name change. Okay, I'll, I'll, let me mention that in a second. I want to point out that we talked about last week that there was this one guy on Reddit that had like said he was going to share some suit details, and we read it, yeah. and we said yeah. like, grain of salt. Everything he said is the exact thing that we saw in that picture. Yeah, so he knows. Yeah, so that means the suit's going to have trunks, and um, they're going to be Lex Corp troopers in futuristic purple and green suits in the movie. I'm cool with that. There we go. Um, let me find these. this. I have it somewhere. 
I made a TikTok about it. Yes, we have a TikTok. Go check it yep. out. Go follow that. Um, James Gunn said this. Overjoyed to be announcing the start of principal photography on Superman today, February 29th, which just so happens to be, coincidentally, an unplanned Superman's birthday. When I finished the first draft of the script, I called the film Superman Legacy. By the time I locked the final draft, it was clear the title was Superman, making our way to you July 2025. And then Perfect. there was a tick. There's a TikTok that got posted of Rachel, um, Nick, Nick, and uh, what is it? Nick, Nicholas Holt, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. It. And David Cordswit. Um, they were all together, I guess, on set maybe. But I think I read somewhere that she was wearing the same thing she was wearing during the table read. So that was probably then. Um, that was taking place during the same time. Yeah. Um. Then we got a little bit of uh, thing that was this peak. All it was was this them sitting there and they, they both lean into the like frame and yeah. i'm like there's so much chemistry here like there's way more chemistry here than there was in all of the snyder verse between lois and Con got that um, right but yeah so you got the title change my thoughts on it is that i'm i mean i'm completely fine with it super there's two reasons why superman legacy um i always thought it was a little weird that the movie was called that when like it would make it seem like why would you start a movie with a subtitle like you, the sequel needs to have like a subtitle but like the first yeah. one just needs to be called like so like superman legacy implies that there was something before it yeah like a movie before like superman and then superman legacy yeah um but now it's just called superman and we've never had a movie just called superman yeah not i mean just to be clear, the super the Christopher Reeves one is called Superman the movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this be clear. is just Superman, which yeah, I'm ha super. I'm I'm happy with. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm fine with. I I didn't like it at first because I was like, oh well, the Christopher Reeves one's called Superman, and it's gonna be confusing. But um, oh, I, I I hope no one's confused about a movie from the 1970s with <laughs> 78. Yeah, I hope not. Hope not. Um, but yeah. They did uh, change the title there um, and showed the logo. Logo looks good. It's the Kingdom Come logo, but it's yellow and it's got a yellow outline to it. Um, which yeah. Has been... yeah, I think that looks great. Interesting. Um, and yeah, a little bit of snow on the suit. It's a fortress because they're in Norway right now, I think, doing Fortress of Solitude stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm excited. I don't know if there's any other information that he put out about it. Now, they said that Alex Ross is the inspiration behind the design of the suit. It's pretty funny because like Snyder fanboys were like all over Alex Ross the other day because yeah. he just posted pictures of uh, of Batman versus Superman along with similar stuff of his art. Yeah, it's he's like, stupid. wow. He's and then some Snyder fan made a video talking about how James Gunn stole inspiration from Alex Ross, and he was kept calling him Axel Ross. <laughs> what in the world? I'm like, what is this Guns and Roses? Axel uh, Ross. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the suit looks really good. I'm excited. I'm interested. The texture looks good. Um, colors look pretty bright now. It is a picture in the shade, too. So that's the colors are muted because of that. So we won't know what it looks like in the sun. It's probably gonna be a lot brighter, even though the colors are pretty bright looking at it. Uh, already, yeah, I'm excited though. Um, obviously, we'll learn more eventually. I, um, well, I think the next castings we'll get will be the Kents. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll see them. Yeah. But I believe that is the end of the DC news. All right. Um, we have gaming, but we have less than a minute in the meeting. So we are going to end it, and we will be right back. Well. All right, gaming news. All right, before we get into um, these two things, talk about what Yuri Lowenthal said about... Um, PlayStation Spider-Man. Um, yes. I have a screenshot, actually. Oh, let me read it. I gotta go find it. This, might, this may take, like, forever. <laughs> just uh, I know it's weird, because it's like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what to look up, but you just can't seem to find it now. <laughs> it's weird. Um, looks like I'm not gonna... I want to say uh... maybe... What, what's the guy that has the Darth Vader icon with the... Uh... The Hawaiian shirt, because I believe he posted it on his account. I can't remember his name. Do not remember. Um. Well, 
Yeah, I can't find it. Um, he basically said that um, he would he would be surprised if Peter Parker doesn't return. Is that, because Spider Man will try to take a break, but he knows he can't. Yeah. Basically, he so did. he's basically saying, yeah, it's not just going to be Miles in the next game. Peter Parker will come back as Spider Man. Yeah, not not to mention too. And probably die. <laughs> And yeah, we'll probably die. Um, I want to mention this too. I, I think we kind of see it in Spider Man too of him like coming out of his like break thing. Because as soon as, as soon as you, like, because when you beat the game, you you play as Miles, right? Yeah. And then if you switch back to Peter, he's like, "Oh yeah, break time's over. Let's go back to it." You know. So that also could be just like dialogue. It's like random. Nah. Random. No, nah, I think it's um. Well, then he never says it unless, until you beat the game, and with his thing. Oh well. Thing. Maybe not. The so, I'm I'm assuming he still is going, still trying to take a back seat, you know, with Miles at, you know, still Miles up the hell. You think MJ will be pregnant in Spider Man Three? That would be cool. Yeah, that lets me know Peter's gonna die <laughs> even <laughs> more now. <laughs> if that if that happens, yes. Why not? Please. You know, Silk's gonna be in it for some reason. Yeah, yeah, Silk's gonna be in it. So we're gonna have three, three. I playable. feel like that's too many. <laughs> it probably is. Then it's like GTA. I guess you had three in that. Mm. Um, but yeah, a uh, little bit of Spider Man information there. Before we get to the Suicide Squad stuff, one last thing. I guess this is still um, DC related. Um. Peacemaker, released for um, season pass holders and Mortal Kombat One. I I'm not a season pass holder. Um, I I wanted to get it a while back. I completely forgot. Um, until now. Um, mm. but Peacemaker's out, and I have seen gameplay. Uh, I've watched Max's videos on it. Max has found his favorite character in all of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> um, he said this is like the craziest character Mortal Kombat has ever made. He said, everything you think of that you want to do with him, you can do it. Uh, and apparently... Sounds, sounds fun. Yeah, apparently, like, that. I mean, from what I saw, the animations of him, like, they look absolutely fantastic. It looks just like John Cena. Um, <laughs> and John Cena's voice acting um, seems pretty good. I'm definitely going to check him out when he releases for the public. I'll stream it. Um, mess around with him. The, his story, because every character has, like, a story if you complete a tower and then yeah, you get to see the little story. His is um <laughs> after he finished um with everything with Project Butterfly, which was the Peacemaker show. Um, he went and got sent on a mission for Project Magician, where he fought Eclipso. Um, which anyone who watched Star Girl, Eclipso was the main villain of season two. It's a terrifying demon god thing. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Um, and he um got. While he was fighting it, he managed to lure Eclipso to Argus, and um, it scared Eclipso. I guess Amanda Waller scared it. Yeah. Um, which is funny. And um, in that, he accidentally sent Peacemaker to the Mortal Kombat universe. And so now people are making theories, thinking that hmm, if he got sent there, maybe when he gets sent back, he gets sent back to the wrong universe. And when he gets sent to the DCU, and that's how we have season two, where nobody knows him it, on, like, but he's still trying to like that'd be interesting I doubt it because I doubt they'd be like that interconnected but like how how interesting would it be of <clears throat> you still had that universe existing in some way but it's only through the memories of Peacemaker yeah he's like <laughs> crazy like, that's and he, never like, been turns into, like a, he turns into like a conspiracy nut yeah where he's like a big conspiracy theorist yeah is, oh, I, I like that, man. I think I I want. Here's the thing: if that doesn't happen, I'm gonna be disappointed because <laughs> that's what I want. Because I, I think I, I think that sounds. I mean, that sounds perfect to me. Yeah. Um. I guess we we'll have to see though. I'll definitely stream out um some Peacemaker stuff um whenever he releases the public, which I don't know when that is. He released on the 28th for season pass people, so I'm guessing it'll be within the week. I never got the season pass. People get it like what, like a week early or a month. You get a week early. Yeah. Um. But yes. All right. So Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League March first developer update. There was a patch earlier this week. It's fixed the um the uh floating Metropolis bug. 
um, which That's was good. really annoying. Uh, but I'm happy it got fixed. Apparently, a lot of people are happy with that. They released a developer update this week to touch on some stuff, and this is what they said. The Battle Pass? People... <laughs> Sorry. Greetings, people of Metropolis. It's been another busy week here at Rock Stadium. We're firing on all cylinders to get to Season 1 to you. Make gameplay improvements, and most importantly, right now, tackle remaining issues. Let's start by going over this week's patch. Um, this week, we published a patch focused on tackling the loading Metropolis issue that appeared the week before. This issue is causing some players to experience extended loading times upon completing a mission. Our data indicates that this issue has now been entirely resolved, and we haven't seen any players report experiencing this issue since the patch. As was most likely apparent from the fact that this patch contained only one change, this was a hot fix aimed at one issue. Therefore, other changes in our resolved issues awaiting release section could not be included, but we are aiming to include these in upcoming patches. We're aware that many of you are eagerly awaiting our next patch for bug fixes and gameplay improvements, especially the mutator changes. We're excited to get those changes into the game, and we're hard at work getting them ready. Our main focus right now is getting the whole game ready to re re he says receive. Um, I guess I meant for you to receive. Um, no, get the whole game ready to I'm gonna say release release our free season one update this month, which includes the new playable character Joker as well as new gear, environments, and more. As a result, we won't be releasing a patch next week, which is this week you guys are hearing this, as we dedicate ourselves to testing fixes and making sure they're ready for implementation. Having said that, we're investigating several possible fixes for both login and multiplayer issues that would not require a client-side patch to bridge us to the next patch. We will keep the community updated on this potential fix in our Discord. Um, okay, so two things there. First, the way they talk, it seems like Season 1 will be not this week, but next. Yes. So we're close. It seems like, at least from the way I took that. Um, mm, yeah, no, 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 yeah, I, I took it the same way. Yeah, and second, this uh, the other thing's pretty cool. Um, the whole all these login issues, people aren't able to log in, which is like the biggest problem for the game right now. Yeah. Um, there's still people that have had the game since, um, like the early access seventy two hours and haven't been able to get on. That's um, great. Yeah, and it's some issues with the WB servers, and it's just like a bunch of stuff compiled but apparently they figured out that they um may have found some fixes that would not require them to do a patch it's just it is server maintenance um but or server expansion i mean but mm -hmm. um we'll have to see they said they will keep everyone updated on their discord join their discord if you haven't already everybody um they do post a decent amount in there you can also go in there if you have any issues and get some help with that um, status of current issues. I said, we believe the biggest issues this week are still login, matchmaking, and mastery progression issues. The updates on those are as follows. Um, login issues. As mentioned above, we're investigating a fix to affect players' profiles that would allow them to log into the game that would not require a full client-side patch. Further fixes are being investigated for future patches. Uh, matchmaking issues. Same as login issues. We're investigating a fix... Um, to affect that to affect player profiles that would allow them to join multiplayer sessions, which would not require a patch. Also exploring helping to tackle lag issues and playing in multiplayer sessions. Mastery progression issues. A fix has been implemented that we believe ensures no new players will encounter the bug, whereby they are unable to progress through mastery levels. For players who encountered it before this fix is implemented, we aim to fix this issue for you in an upcoming patch. Um, I want to point out that I haven't had any of these issues besides the loading Metropolis one, so I feel very lucky. <laughs> I haven't. Yeah, I, I, I know. I never haven't played as much as you had. After I got the the trophy, I was like, all right, I want to go back on uh, Final Fantasy VII before Rebirth comes out and stream all that. But from honestly, I didn't experience no glitch during yeah, our I'm, playthrough. Yeah, I um. Besides crashes, I, I, I had, like, I'm wondering crashes. if this is. I'm wondering if this is just for PC. That's what I wonder. I haven't heard I, I, any I wish they PlayStation said of like what 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 console. I mean, there are I there are crap. issues. There are I mean, there are codex issues, and like I don't have everything unlocked. It's like unlocked in chapter three, but I didn't unlock yeah, it. Same. And it's like stuff like that, but that's all bugged. And there's some like trinkets and weapon charms and stuff that are like that. But um, yeah, I haven't seen. I don't know. I, this feels like it's just PC, um, but it seems like more, most people played on console. The game, despite what. People would want you to believe sells sold well. It literally just sold out on Amazon and Best Buy yesterday, the other day. Yeah, I mean that shows you that. I mean they ran out of stock of the game because yeah, so they stuck to it because it. it was twenty dollars off. There was a sale. Yeah, but it was still fifty dollars, so people mm -hmm. still spend a decent amount of money on it. I mean, yeah. there's people playing. 
50 bucks is a good price for it. You know, if or even if you don't even. It's not a bad. It's a pretty good price. I want. Yeah, fifty bucks, uh, and we thought the game. I don't. Was well, I don't like that games are seventy dollars in general, but I would have. Look, I, I, I'd say I'd say gaming needs to go in a straight. Like this is a whole whole different one of Landon's rants, oh, but God. like gaming needs to go into a direction mm-hmm. of adjusted pricing depending on not what the IP is, but of what you could get out of it. You know. Yeah, they the way they do it. Now it's, I mean, it's just like to offset the cost of production of the game. Mm. So, like with all these like newer games, it's it takes a lot more to like b- build it on PS5 and all that. So it's seventy dollars. But like stuff yeah. on and and the same on Xbox on PC, I think it's still like sixty. Mm. So I don't know. Um, here, let me finish reading the rest of this um uh blog before. Um, we continue, it says, we've also noticed reports of some players unable to progress through the Erasing Hell tiers. We've identified several accounts affected by this issue and are looking to fix it currently. Thank you to all who reported this. If you're experiencing any of these or any other issues, you we have just updated our known issues list in our Discord. Please check there as there may be a workaround for your issue. And they end it here with a section called Meta Tips. Uh, we've loved seeing players experiment with weird and powerful builds as they climb higher and higher up the mastery levels in endgame. One development we particularly enjoyed was outlined by Mr. J in a fantastic video they made recently highlighting the power of Hacks Infamy set bonus. Um with two pieces with the two piece bonus for Hacks gear, any of the squad's members can become a shield harvesting demon, slicing through hordes of enemies for insane damage and survivability. And the best part is this is just the start of this is just but yeah, this is just the start of a build that you can customize however you like. King Shark can turn into an all-out melee monster with dominating strike and primal assault talents, or equip stack deck and angry face with Captain Boomerang for a brute shredding glass cannon. Jump into the Else Worlds and try it out for yourself. Um, so they're giving us some tips here. Yeah. So um, hacks, infamy set bonus. Uh, it says here the first piece is plus three pra- passive traversal attack and suicide strike resource. And then the second one is traversal attacks do 50% less damage but have a 100% chance to make all enemies hit harvestable. Suicide Strike gives you unlimited firearm ammo for 7 seconds. Alright. Interesting. Um, yeah. There's that and they linked the video. They also said this. One common piece of feedback we received is about feedback. Namely, you aren't sure where to send your feedback based on what you're reading in the developer updates or while playing the game. While we are we are and will continue to actively monitor our social channels for your feedback, we agree that there could be a more centralized place for us to hear your opinions. In that spirit, we're going to trial a new channel within our Discord server, Focused Feedback. Focused Feedback will be a channel where we are asked for feedback on specific change we're considering making to the game, but want your opinion on it first, or for if we want your ideas on a specific way we can improve the game. We think this will be a really positive change to ensure the future of Suicide Squad is a collaborative process. We'll start it channel. We'll start this channel up next week on our Discord, so keep an eye out. Thanks as always for the feedback on the game. See you in the Elseworlds, Worlds, Derek and the Rocksteady T. Um, this is what Avengers. I know. <laughs> Take Why a didn't shot Avengers have a focused feedback thing or something? Like they're literally having a channel on their Discord where they're going to ask us what do we think about this, and we let them know, and they do it or like um or like oh if we could change this, how would you want us to do it? And we get like that's. It's perfect. If you wanted Iron Man to fly faster, what what's your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, do that. Yeah. <laughs> what characters would you guys like? <laughs> yeah. Um, but that is that. Um, that's the dev update. Seems like season one is coming soon, so we'll be streaming that. Yes. Um, whenever it drops. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that is everything though. All the news. It was. Right. Yeah. It's it's good stuff. Good news, good news all around, pretty much. I mean, Yuri. I don't know. I think Yuri's just kind of like. I think he knows as well. I I'm going to say that they might not not that they have a script ready, but they they pretty much know what they want to do with the third game, game of Marvel Spider Man Three. But uh, but very very excited to see where where they'll take uh, Peter and Miles. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously they have a plan. We saw. Well, I can't talk about it. Well, I get. I don't know. Do you find? Could were we? Would should we be able to talk about what happened in that that whole like leak that came out? It's been like a few months. I 
I feel like we could mention it. I feel like everyone knows about it now. Everybody knows. Yeah, it, it's weird because I don't. Not that I don't think we'd get in trouble, but it's just out of like courtesy, I guess. But it, it's your call. I I don't know. I I, I, will, I think about it because there is some stuff on. I'm not gonna like go into detail about it, but like, well, maybe we can mention it. Like, but yeah. like, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not gonna go like, read the cast list for Wolverine or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Um. But yeah, I don't know what to think about it. But yeah. I guess we're going to go ahead and get ready to get out of here. So thank you all so much for joining us for this episode. Um, a lot of good news. Uh, we have a the series finale, the very last episode ever of the Arkham Files on Thursday um, about uh, Dr. Jeremiah Arkham. And um, we also have our Aquaman 2 review on Wednesday. Yep. And this will be out on Monday. And obviously we'll have some streams. I'll be doing more Sly Cooper 1. I may, might be the, the, this week, hopefully. And then I'll land yeah. and finish remake and go on a rebirth. Yes, um, um, it should be on Monday. While <laughs> I pray be. for a remake of Sly Cooper. <laughs> yeah, go do that. <laughs> um, But, yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, corrections, or concerns, you can contact me on Instagram at DarienH4404. That's D-A-R-I-E-N-H-4404. Or Instagram at the Comic Book Burrito underscore official. Facebook at the Comic Book Burrito colon official page. Or Twitter at the CB Burrito. You're not going to mention our TikTok? Uh, well, I was going to once you said your thing. But oh, I, my bad. My bad. I can <laughs> mention right, it now. I, I'm always ahead. I'm always too much ahead. I can mention my it bad. now. Well, well I'll I mention it now. I'll mention it now. I'll mention it now. Um, yes, what he said is true. We have a TikTok page. It's official. We have three posts on there right now. Um, go give it a follow if you haven't already. It is, let me pull it up just so I can have it. It is the CB Burrito, all lowercase, or you can just look at the Compo Burrito. We got three posts on there right now. Definitely go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, you see me say questionable things. Like Yes. <laughs> yes. Um yeah, uh, you can contact me at Spider underscore Landon on Facebook, uh, excuse me, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Very, very interactive on all three platforms. And yeah, come on over and, well, I guess I won't be on interactive this much because of Rebirth. So come on over and don't you dare spoil Rebirth. Yeah, yeah. Everyone <laughs> there, go DM, everyone go DM him what happens at the end of Rebirth. Yeah, D- DM everything. To me. Um, yeah, so... With that, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And we will see you guys on Wednesday for the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom review. Bye, guys. See you. Excelsior.